The first game when it came out was uh, critically really well received and obviously from a commercial point of view also did pretty well for Codemasters so uh, it was paramount to us that uh, we had the time to really let the, uh, the game breathe if you like through the development and uh, let us make sure that it's more than a worthy sequel you know adds in every respect to what the first game did and uh, absolutely surpasses it. You know it's this total race day immersion and this you know, perfectly refined and honed racing experience that we've got. And it's absolutely core to what we do. It's every aspect of the race. It's, it's the race build-up, it's the anticipation, it's the crowd, the spectators arriving, the, the noise of the event, you know, the drama and the anticipation of sitting on the start line waiting for those lights to turn green. It's the moment when they do and trying to get a good start off the line. It's that rush down into that first corner, you know, jostling for that position, trying to get a good line into that first corner. And then just the, sh the sheer exhilaration and thrill of pack racing, working your way through that grid of other cars, you know, hoping to try and take the chequered flag in first place and, and reap the rewards from it. Whilst we focus on that race experience, we then isolate all the things that figure in and factor in to making that what it is. Uh, whether it be lighting, whether it be um, advances in our technology and what we can do with the, the physics and the handling. Yeah, the breadth of the game is really important to us and you know, what we want to offer the gamer is, is really a broad experience and to uh, you know, have the opportunity to get in some of the world's most powerful sports cars, motor cars, and, and take them through a different variety of locations and event types. So introduction of the open road sections is you know, a, a big step forward to us. And we've got all new, all new locations in this game. So street circuits, none of them have appeared in uh, Codemasters games before. True of the open roads as well. The, uh, the, the tracks, we've got a really fantastic mix of what we consider classic old circuits and some really fresh new circuits which haven't been in any racing games before but we think offer brilliant racing experiences. We're telling a story with the player and it's really you taking your experience, progressing it and evolving from you know uh, a small time garage to uh, having the, the, the top mod cons, everything, high technology. Certain areas of the game will only be visited once you've sort of progressed to a certain, certain uh, level and um, really that allows us to keep the experiences fresh and uh, keep the different race types fresh as we move through the game. With breadth of race experiences and, and breadth of locations, it needs to feel cohesive, it, it needs to feel believable, and you know, that progression that Ian's just talked about a little bit is, is a way of us making sure we maintain that believability. We're not about subversive you know, or, or illegal street racing in any sense because you know, every event is, is a real proper sanctioned event that could take place in, in the real world, in real life. But they, they start at a, a certain level and you build up to a much, much higher level as you progress through the game and you see the events being dressed in different ways. You feel the allegiances of the spectators, you know, evolving through that time as well. So we, we, we make some pretty bold decisions based upon uh, player feedback and some of the data that we have access to and cockpit views, um, no exception to that. And yet it, it's right that we are dropping that view from this version of the game and there's, you know, a couple of key reasons behind it. The first is, you know, what our data tells us is actually very, very few gamers actually use that view. Uh, it's in the region of 5%, 1 in 20 people will actually choose to use the cockpit view. To, to implement a cockpit view is a huge amount of resource from our point of view. It's, it's a big time investment, it's a big cost investment. And what we've looked at is and thought is, well, we could take that time, we can take that investment, and actually we can turn it into something which every single player is going to benefit from, rather than just the 5% that choose to take that view. So that's really driven the decision for us to say we won't do cockpit view on this outing, we're going to put those efforts somewhere else. So we've got a whole host of advancements in our technology and yeah, it's part of the reason why we've taken our time over producing this title is to allow our technology and our skills and our processes to catch up with the ambition. So there's many, many aspects to that and I think, you know, at its heart, at its absolute heart, was the technology uh, to enable us to get this sense of immersion and that's every aspect of the game that comes down to the way the cars handle with the true feel handling system and the process that we're now following it comes down to the, the the human AI you know the fact that there's these 60 attributes which are determining the behaviors of every other driver on the track 
the fact that the AI is dynamic, so the way you behave towards other drivers is going to reflect and affect the way those drivers behave back towards you. Um, and that's without even going towards the visual aspects of it, you know, the improvements that we're doing in the, the lighting of the environments, which is a really significant step forward to us. We're also really pushing the multiplayer to be a core cornerstone of what Grid2 is. We're making the choice up front to really isolate the online experience and the single player exp experience from each other. Um, what that does is it allows us to really um, you know, create experiences that can only be achieved in the online space, um, unique and distinct from those experiences that the players will get in the single player. The creating bread for the player is really about uh, refactoring and uh, appropriating those experiences, those race types uh, in those different locations in fashions that you know, really only can be achieved in an online space with that many players uh, as your competition. Grid 2 is coming summer 2013, Xbox 360, PS3 and PC.